Hello everybody, it's Super Conferencistic X Realidocious here, and today we're going to review over the next software that you can use to completely disable um options on uh Windows 10. So this is Spybot Anti Beacon. It is a really good software for completely uh immunizing your um, privacy settings so that you stay safe. Uh, from Windows' crusty fingers trying to get up in your operating system. Don't take that perverted joke too seriously. But um, obviously you want to allow it administrator privileges. Um, I put a link down in the description for being able to download it. Now, what I'm going to do, is it's pretty set up to, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, when this is just protection, you have to click immunize, because that's the whole point you were here. Telemetry hosts. These, and telemetry services, telemetry group policies, these, I'm pretty sure, are Windows tracking domains. Well, basically, Windows, um, for those of you who don't know what that means, uh, they're basically um, uh, websites owned by Microsoft that uh, track your computer network. So even if you do disable it straight up on the operating system, they remember, Microsoft has switched from operating system to cloud services, so now... They can monitor you via their cloud, even if you're not connected to their exact operating system. So always remember that. Consumer experience improvement program group policy. This is basically sending diagnostic information to your computer, but that's basically scanning your entire hard drive and sending all information on that hard drive directly to Microsoft. And that's why their statistics are so exact. They can predict, they, well, they can't predict it, but they can actually tell you how many photos you've viewed, how many programs you have in your files, and how much storage you originally had and how much you have already used they can track exactly you look like um, I don't know if you guys can see but my camera off on the top is um, completely pasted and uh, I think I destroyed the webcam because so I completely disabled the hardware function even if they try to use an infrared modulation which is a different thing I'll show you guys how to do later but uh, yeah this is just the group policy and the schedule task application impact uh, telemetry this is what actually allows your computer to contact telemetry and um, override your original um, host settings and allow them to get into your computer. Uh, steps recorder group policy. This one, I'm not too sure what that is. I haven't done enough research on this. Wi-Fi Sense is basically sharing your Wi-Fi network with other people, which I think is generally retarded. Honestly, why would you want to share your Wi-Fi network with anyone else? Hotspot sharing. Why? Apps using advertising ID don't use that because um, ads, if you click on them, will be able to use your ID on your computer to track you. And it's basically like rapist cookies, like cookies, but they've turned into serial killers basically. And they're just going around poking you with, with trying to get your advertising tracking ID. If you immunize it, all of this will be blocked. Also, P2P, which is obviously the most annoying thing ever. Which is basically, um, you can change, if you want P2P, it's alright, I'm not judging you guys, but P2P is basically sharing um, update information with um, different people on your local network, or if you take out your laptop and you're traveling and just walking around, it will automatically share information to different computers that aren't even you and you'll be wasting a bunch of bandwidth and if you have an internet um an internet an ISP who is very strict on your internet connection like AT&T I think that's an internet service provider I don't, I don't even care honestly but if you have something like that that it gets strict and they lower your monthly usage of internet you don't want P2P enabled and it's really hard to disable this and I don't know why Windows I mean Microsoft did this there are a bunch of fucking assholes to make this operating system, but unfortunately, I got a laptop it completely enabled, like with Windows 10, so I had to make the best of it. I am gonna try and get some VMware to get some Kali Linux in here too, so don't you worry about it, guys. These are all optional, but I suggest if you want total and complete privacy, you should enable all of them. Web search group policy, which is um, basically the same thing as telemetry, but a little bit different. If you guys want me to explain, go into the comment section for FAQ. Uh, Cortana group policy, that should be disabled because basically what Cortana does is whenever you speak to Cortana, she records everything that you says, that you say, sorry, grammar, she records everything that you say, 
And then she sends that to the Microsoft Cloud, which can be tracked and copied and um, and illustrated to the Microsoft worker who works there. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't work at Microsoft. But then Cortana will um, use that and reply to you in the best possible answer. And over time, she's going to keep that same recording and all those other recording recordings of your voice to try and get what you like the best and predict that the moment you start up the machine automatically knows start up the proxy start up the proxy which honestly um, you can just do it by default in settings if you want to do that but obviously Cortana needs to have a third party group it needs to pretend to be a third party group messenger but doesn't matter uh, remote registry service uh, I'm not sure what that is for OneDrive I practically hate I don't use OneDrive uh, it's basically like cloud storage, basically, you know, what like iCloud is. Think of this as a fake iCloud OneDrive one, and then a picture of a cloud that, that crossed out with I in it. Uh, Bing IPs, this is basically blocking um, all Bing websites. If you use if you use Bing, um, this is just blocks all the Microsoft-owned IPs for Bing. Telemetry hosts... This is all the hosts, the exact hosts, all the tele telemetry hosts that are in uh, tracking your ID. Basically the same thing as telemetry that I explained before. Office 15, Office 16, this is just if you don't use Office. I honestly don't use Office. I use Google Drive. And even if I just do use Google Drive, I use my desktop computer, which is running Ubuntu. And um, there's like different things. Uh, I think I, I can access Office 16. There's a uh, way you can do that on Ubuntu. Uh, this is just a log. This is just to make sure that if you want to know if it's um, installed correctly, everything's okay. I'll put the link down in the description and you can install it there. And I'll even show you the URL so you know you're on the right one. Okay, so I think I'll probably a lot of you are confused on what I meant by telemetry and blocking IPs and how can you do that and oh my god. I'm not going to explain ISPs or OneDrive and group policies, that's all you need to find out yourself. But what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, convey you the how telemetry works. And you can uh, access this on um, your computer. Um, SpyBot just makes it simpler, which I absolutely adore. So what you want to do is you want to open this. You want to access CD drivers, CD ETC. And you want to open Notepad Hosts. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to open. Um, obviously, this isn't going to look the same on your computer, but I have a theme installed that automatically sets this to default, so mine looks way cooler than yours. But anyways, this is a TCP slash IP connection list for um, your computer. So basically, uh, as for an example, they have an example right there. But these were added by Spybot. These are domains and websites owned by Microsoft that uh, track your computer ID. So and so when your computer automatically sets to default, um, this is different if you use Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge completely bypasses the host spot, the host file. And I don't know why it does that. That's uh, a little bit deeper into the key system files, but I'm not going to go into that right now. So basically when your computer um, sends a request to go into so so and so website, it automatically gets redirected to this IP address, 0.0.0.0. .0. That basically means stop, don't go anywhere else on the internet. And uh, I'll go into the Chrome browser right now because it's the one that actually obeys the host file commands. And uh, we're just going to see if this works right now. Uh, that's my YouTube channel. Super cool, right? <laughs> so we're going to enter in the domain ID. And see, uh, the DNS lookup CyberGhost proxy blocks this automatically. But if you don't have a proxy on, it'll automatically send just 0 0.0.0.0. 0 .0. So, yeah. And uh, there's a long list of domain names. I'm, and um, if you want to do the DNS lookup yourself, because I don't think these are exact, there's probably like, there's actually 500. Um, unknown telemetry hosts on here that um, Spybot doesn't cover. But if you want to cover it um, and block all the IPs, 
you can do it. Yeah, you have to do a Huda IS lookup and a DNS cross search. It's your thing, man. Uh, and see end of entries inserted by a spy bot anti beacon. But that's basically how telemetry works. I'll put a link down in the description. I'll even show you the website right now. Spy bot right here. HTPC safer networking dot org. Uh, this is basically what the website will look like. Uh, and there's something very important in the download section if you want to know. Um, those of you who know what the download portable section is, what you want to do in that is, it's basically if you have it on a USB thumb drive, all you need to do if you're the family I IT guy, you just uh, pop it in uh, any computer and and then you'll automatically launch it as spybot anti beacon it doesn't have to be downloaded on the computer then you can you can then you can enable all the privacy settings uh take it out and um the person who's using the computer the person who's using the computer won't be able to uh change the privacy settings but if they feel like they've been breached they can come and ask you and then you can enable them again and stuff but uh i have the installer on my computer because i want to leave this permanent and i have the portable edition on a usb drive and uh, that's just the portable edition for people who want it. And uh, I guess I basically cover spy about anti beacon and telemetry and how to use it correctly. And don't you scrubs go going around? Uh, well, you, you can prank your friends. Like if you change the command prompt to Bing and send the IP address to Google, and anyone who actually wants to use Bing gets trolled. But uh, basically, uh, thank you guys for watching. Super Cowfather just out here. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.